Tom Hardy didn't do motion capture for Venom after all. As the star of Sony's hopeful Spider-Man cinematic universe, Hardy has been given a great deal of responsibility. However, it may be trying to finally get Venom right on the big screen that puts the most pressure on his shoulders. Topher Grace's portrayal in Spider-Man 3 didn't work for most, so Hardy is doing everything he can to properly bring the iconic anti-hero to life. Due to Venom's symbiotic nature, Many expected Hardy's performance to be the backbone of the character. Venom is obviously said to be a CGI creation in the solo movie. But it was thought that Hardy would do some level of motion or performance capture for Eddie. Brock's other half. It turns out that is not the case. Related, Tom Hardy is contracted for three Venom movies during an interview with Total Film magazine. Hardy discussed the lack of mocap he did for Venom. The idea to have Hardy do any sort of mocap was disregarded early on and they never revisited it. How exactly Venom is being brought to life is now not clear. But it certainly isn't due to Hardy. It wasn't motion capture, because the eyeballs on the creature, on Venom, and the mouth, they don't match with my eyeballs and mouth. So the mocap treatment went out of the window pretty quickly facially. Your eyes and teeth and tongue are not going to match with this. And you need a 7 feet tall basketball player in a lycra suit for the physical shots. Mocap roles are common for superhero movies. So it is surprising to learn that this process wasn't used for Venom. Hardy could have done motion capture to bring his physicality and mannerisms to the symbiote. For Monsieur performance capture is a bit more nuanced and specific. So Hardy's explanation for not doing it with Venom due to his odd shape does make some sense. Hardy is providing the voice for Venom. So some aspect of him will be present in the symbiote scenes. Hardy not doing mocap for Venom should mean that all of Venom's movements are completely designed by the animators themselves. It is unclear what the actual filming process for any Venom scenes were like then. As Hardy wouldn't need to physically be on set for any moments that actually include the anti-hero, Josh Brolin did both motion and performance capture for Infinity War and had a giant Thanos head mounted above him to keep the perspective. Hardy could have theoretically done something similar to bring Venom's symbiote form to life. If this was done, then Hardy may have passed these duties off to a very tall person. Like the basketball player he mentions. It isn't clear if this is actually what Venom did or if Hardy was just explaining a way to make it work. We'll find out soon enough once Venom hits theaters in just a few months. Source. Total Film Tags. Venom.